God's grace and mercy brought us through. Thank you, Jesus. Have mercy. Hello, everyone. It is 2 o'clock, and it's time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, your brother, Brother Oscar York, where we are ch- uh, chatting about the word from the word and putting a snap in your Christian walk. Yes, we are. We are so glad, so glad to do it on the Spreaker platform. 
where today we're discussing the Bible and problems Christians faces today. Hello everyone, this is just so grand to be with you today. We are so blessed, so blessed to bring you uh, this program at this time at 2. And we hope and pray that you feel the same. We hope and pray that we are pretty uh, snap in your Christian uh, walk. Amen, amen, amen. And this, if this be your first time listening to us here, chatting from the Word, don't make it your last time. Come back and listen to some more. Amen. But we are so grateful that you're with us if this be your first time. And tell your friends about us. Tell, tell them that Brother Oscar is on that too, on chatting uh, from the Word. Amen. Amen. I hope all had a... Uh, you had a good morning. You had a wonderful breakfast. And we all hope all are having a wonderful afternoon. You are having a nutritional lunch. And now we hope that you're ready to receive some more nutrition. And this time from the Word of God here on Chatting from the word, amen. We here in Miami, Virgo, Ohio, we are blessed. We are blessed. This morning we had a little rain, and that's a blessing too. It's just a blessing just to get a little rain every now and then. Because sometimes, sometimes a little rain must fall so things can grow and mature and and blossom. Amen. And amen. The weather people says that it is 76 degrees, 10% chance of rain. Low chance of precipitation tonight. Humidity at 70 degrees, dew point 66 degrees, and pressure is at 30. Amen. Amen. And amen. But <laughs> you know what Brother Oscar feels. Regardless of what's going on on the outside, it can be raining cats and dogs. It can be 40 feet of snow on the ground. But you know what, my friends? As long as we have the Son of God, we have sunny days every day because we have, we have the Son of God. Amen, amen, amen. Again, it was it's just so good to be with you on this afternoon hour. And we hope that we are coming on at a good time where you can have a little, you know, a little joy in your life and to take you away from the humdrum and, and all the crazy stuff that's happening in the world or on the news. You know Brother Oscar is talking about. I'm just so glad that we had this that we have this time together just to uh, be with one another and to be able to uh, hear beautiful music together, a cappella music, the most, most beautiful music on this side of heaven, and be able to hear a portion of God's Word today. And of course, we are going to do the message. Uh, and like I said in the beginning, we form the message into a question. Do the potter have power over the clay? Do the potter, potter, P-O-T-T-E-R, have power over the clay? And we want you all to really let that penetrate your mind and allow you to think about that question. So that when we come to the, 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 the lesson part of the program, you can see where Brother Oscar and the, and the Apostle Paul is coming from, okay? So turn your Bibles up. If you have, don't have your Bibles out, get your Bibles out and turn with me to Romans at the appropriate time. We're going to be in Romans and turn with me to Romans 9 and the Verse is 15 through 26. And of course, today we're going to try to, uh, of course, uh, bring in Jeremiah into the thought here because the thought is really in Jeremiah 
18. Okay. 1 through 11. So that's where we're heading with the lesson today. All right. So my friends. And of course, we're going to be playing our music. Our, our, our first selection will be the late Johnny Wilder Jr. Saved. And then, of course, our prayer time, our prayer anthem will be is Sweet Hour of Prayer. I believe yesterday we forgot to do the, the anthem, the Sweet Hour of Prayer, by Radiance a cappella, but we won't forget today. We hope we don't, don't forget. And our song before the lesson will be Terry Wallace, Harvest Time. So, my friends, just get relaxed. Go have a cup of your favorite beverage, coffee, tea, milk, juice, soda water, soda pop, whatever you <laughs> want to call it. A fresh squeeze glass of orange juice, a fresh squeeze glass of lemonade. While you, re- if you're at home, while you recline in your reclining chair, or stretch out on your couch or on your floor. Well, I listen to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're driving, keep your eyes on the road. But keep on listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're in the gym or exercising, jogging, lifting weights, try to get your body in tune or lose weight, get your earbuds on, my friends. Why you can why you exercising why you can still listen to Brother Oscar York here on chatting from the word while you exercising. All right, all right, all right, where are we? Where are where am I? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. All right, we're back, we're back, and we're glad to be back. We're glad to be with you today, and we hope that uh, you feel the same. And I hope you enjoyed the show on yesterday. We um, try to bring the lesson to you, and like I said, play the more uh, beautiful, beautiful song. And our first song for today will be the late Johnny Wilder. Junior saved the late Johnny Wilder Junior saved and here we go. There's no better state to be in. Say Wow. 
Amen, amen, amen. That was the late Johnny Wilder Jr. He sings Saved. There is no better place, no better state to be is saved. My friends, are you saved? If you're not saved, you you must get saved. Because there's no better place place to be saved knowing that when when this life is all over with and when the Lord come back from for his church that you be in that number ready to go home with the Lord amen amen thank you Johnny we really love uh, we really love that song let me remind our listeners that you're listening to chatting from the word with your host, your brother, Oscar York, where we are chatting about the word from the word and putting a snap in your Christian walk on the Spiriker platform. And we are, we are, we are so glad, so glad, so glad, and so blessed to do it. Amen and amen. This is our prayer time, and if you have any prayer requests that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just uh, email it to me. Uh, You should know my email address by heart. We say it every day on the air. Our email address is lowercase Oscar York. 3443 at gmail.com. Oh. Uh-huh.
Sorry for the clapping in between that, but that was Sweet Hour of Prayer, sung by Radiance a cappella. And this is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want uh, Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just email it to me. Again, my email address is the lowercase, Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com or you can message it to me on the, on the messenger once you message it to me I will get the message I may not be able to return a message because at times my messenger is not acting correctly and we have trouble uh, getting messages back to you sometimes we have trouble sharing the show with you also so we want you all to bear that in mind okay but uh, we are welcoming your prayer request. You can email it to me. You can message it to me. And we do have a page on Facebook uh, dedicated to the program here, Chatting from the Word, hosted by your brother here, or brother Oscar York. That's OscarYorkPublishing.com. And you can put your prayer request there also. And we also are on live. Uh, if you listen to us live and if you have a prayer request, you can put it on the program live and we will receive your uh, prayer request. As you may know, we've been praying for the world lately and all the problems that we've been having in the world, the coronavirus disease, the policemen shooting black men, uh, uh, the uh, uh, president that's not talking right, and, and so much stuff is going on, and sometimes we just need to get a prayer to the Lord. The world today stands in the need of prayer for all that is going on, and we want to ask you, our listening audience, to join me in this prayer, and, and also you yourself, get in your quiet place where you can pray for the world itself. Because the world needs love, my friends. It needs God. It needs God's hand to touch it so that we all may uh, be healed. But before we go off into our prayer, before we approach the throne of grace... I would love to read First uh, Timothy 2, uh, verses 1 through 4. Here Paul writes to his protege Timothy, I exhort therefore that, first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Amen. Amen, Apostle Paul. Amen. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, our Lord, our God, we recognize, Father, that you created this vast universe in which we live. Father, we recognize that you flung the stars out there in outer space and it made the formations that it made. Oh, Father, we come thanking you for creating this sphere in which we live in called the earth. 
and you formed it in the way that it will help us and to support us and allow us to live and to breathe and to have our total being. Oh, Father, you made man from the dust of the ground, and you breathed to his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Oh, Father, we just thank you for all, all your wonderful, wonderful miracles, all your wonderful creations, all your wonderful things that you've done to allow us as man to be here and to exist and to be able to call you uh, our Father. Oh, Father, we come first of all thanking you for the sunshine, thanking you for the rain, thanking you, Father, for one day, for another chance to allow us to be here and to be able to live and to breathe and to feel the sun or to feel the rain. Oh, Father, we just recognize that's a blessing within itself. Oh, Father, we come thanking you for allowing your Son, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, to come down on this cruel world, to die a cruel death, taking our place on the cross so that we all may have salvation. Oh, for all we come praying for those that have died, that have been killed at the hands of the policemen, those that are supposed to pretend, defend and protect us. But they are killing us. Father, we pray for the family who lost the loved ones. And we pray, Father, that you comfort them, comfort their heart. If they don't know Jesus, Father, in the point of their sins, we pray that they, through what's going on in their lives, that that's a message to them that they need to know of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we come praying for those that have contracted this coronavirus. Father, we pray that you be with uh, with them, heal their bodies, allow them to have their health and strength back again so they may breathe again, so they may live again, so they may move again. Oh, Father, we come praying for those who lost loved ones who is uh, dreads for disease. Father, we pray uh, that you comfort their hearts, minds, and souls. And the only way you know how to comfort them because, Father, you the only one knows how much of their mourning and missing uh, that uh, loved one. Oh, Father, we come praying for the political world in which we live in today. Those that have leadership over us in a physical sense. Father, we pray that Mr. President get it right, get it together, and lead us in a way that is right. Oh, Father, we come praying for the body of Christ, Father. We pray, Father, that you help us to continue on being the body of Christ. Help us to continue on living as Christ. Help us to keep us from uh, to uh, obey your word and to stand and to uh, love one another and to love you and to be able to teach and to preach your word. And Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of them, regardless of what they may be going through, regardless of the problems that they facing, regardless of what's going on in their family, regardless of the sickness that they may have uh Caught, Father, we pray that you be with them, help them through the time of need. Allow them to recognize that that that, that they can look up to you from whence coming their help. Oh, Father, we come praying for our program here, chatting from the Word. Father, help us to continue on being the light in each community that we are heard in. Help us, Father, to to just just keep this show on the air. Father, help us to teach the lesson uh, through the power and have power of the, of the clay. Help us to teach in a way that we may reach someone uh, with your word, Father, so they may recognize that they need you and they may come to you and may be saved. 
Oh, Father, I pray for my situation and also, Father, help us to find a place to live. Help us that all uh, will go well for us. Oh, Father, we just thank you all over the place at this time. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. Again, we want to thank you for praying along with us on that prayer. We hope uh, that we prayed for something that was on uh, your Minds. All right, all right. Where are we? Where are we? Where am I? <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. All right, we're back, and we're glad to be back, and we're glad to be with you today. We hope that uh, you feel the same. We try to uh, bring you this program every day, if it's the Lord's will, Monday to Friday at 2. And on Saturday, he says seven. And we hope that you have your ears on. We hope that you're listening in. And if you're listening in, tell your friends about us here at Chatting from the Word. Because I believe, and, and if you believe the same, that we're doing a good job here. We are sharing, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ and try to uh, play a cappella music to lift your day and to get what's going on on the news and outside of. Uh, in this world today, off your minds because it'll just it'll just drive you crazy. <laughs> you understand, know brother Oscar saying? So you try to get your mind in the Lord and allow the Lord to soothe you and to be a part of your day. And this is what we try to do here on chatting from the word. So we hope that you're listening uh, to our program. And if you are listening, like I said, uh, tell your friends about this program. Tell them we're on. We're on live on Facebook and on uh, YouTube. You can listen to us live. And if you happen to start listening to us live, tune in and listen to Brother Oscar live and in living color. Maybe not living color, but at least live. So just stay tuned. And if you uh, have a loved ones in your family, your mother, your father, your sister, your brothers, your aunt, your uncle that you want to share the gospel with and you just can't say the right words, let them listen to this program. And you listen to the program with them. And if they have any questions, ask answer their question. If you can't answer their question, just shoot me an email at my email address with the question, and we will answer the question for you. You know, ain't no excuse today for no one not to know Jesus Christ. With as many programs that come on today on the internet, over the airways, on the radio, talking about the truth, of God's word. It's just up to us to accept it as the truth of God's word. I think that's the problem problem that many of us have today is accepting truth because we are so down into accepting what mom and daddy taught us of what we have known through uh, the generations on down and when we hear the truth. We don't know the truth and we can't and we reject the truth if we don't know the truth when we hear it. But Brother Oscar is here is preaching the truth. And I have my Bibles. That's why I tell you every time to turn. I have your Bibles out. Turn to your uh, turn to the chapters that we are uh, and the books that we are teaching on, and I will let you know. If I'm wrong, let me know. If I'm wrong, let me know. And two, we want y'all, you all, if you can, if you're able to, to sponsor our program here, help Brother Oscar to bring this program uh, to the air. Help me to keep this program on because at the end of the month, I don't know what we're gonna do if we're gonna have the program uh, continue to program or not because we right now we in a tight spot. And right now, my listeners, we need you at this time. And if you can help Brother Oscar. Uh, financially to keep this program on the air and sponsor us here on Chatting from the Word, it would be a beautiful thing. Now, we do have an account on PayPal. Just pull up the PayPal webpage and it's under my email address. Just put in my email address, which is which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at uh, gmail.com. And when the page comes up, 
Just put in any amount you desire. Now help Brother Oscar out here. If you truly believe that the gospel have the power to save. Help me out here. Please do that. Please go to uh, PayPal, the PayPal web page and help Brother Oscar out here. And if you ever want to talk with me, you can always uh, email me. I already told you what the email was. Shoot me an email. Let me know how you're doing. And Brother Oscar will always know how he's doing. So I'm, I welcome that. Many have a talk with me on my leaking page. I like to uh, say a hello to all my LinkedIn people. I like to say hello to all my Facebook people also. So if you want to send a line or two to my email, you are welcome to do that. And like I said, we do have a page on our Facebook page dedicated to the show, which is Chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar York. That's OscarYorkPublishing.com. And you can leave a line or two there. Or you can leave nine and two on our webpage, OsseyYorkPublishing.com. But while you're on our webpage, we do have a bookstore. Your brother here has authored two books. My first book is A Peaceful Place in the Storms, God is in Control, which sells for twenty one fifty. And our second book, which is Bridges of Friendships, which also sells for twenty one fifty. And if you want to purchase both books, both books are forty-three dollars. We hope that to be your desire that you visit OscarPublishing.com and order you a book and read. Now you know my motto. We say it every day here on the air. When you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power. Yes, it does. It comes power. So go visit OscarPublishing.com and purchase your book and read. Amen. And amen. Now, the internet networks that we come on are Chrome Web View, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, PodPlayer.net, uh, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Parchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcast, Castbox, Podcast Addicts, Freaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, Visit your Google Play or App Store and download Spreaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up, Chatting from the Word, hosted by your brother here, Brother Oscar York. And once you find us, put us in your favorite so that when 2 o'clock comes, Monday to Fridays and Saturdays at 7, you'll be ready to hear a wonderful, wonderful program from us here at Chatting from the word. All right, all right, all right. We hope you've been enjoying the program so far, and we have been blessed to bring you this program today. And we hope that we've been lifting your spirit up and put you in a better place than what the world can put you in. Our next selection will be Terry Wallace, Harvest, Harvest Time. Terry Wallace. Harvest, harvest time, and here we go with Terry Wallace. Harvest time.
Amen, amen, and amen. Our brother Terry Rollins, it's harvest time. It's definitely harvest time, my friend, especially if you are obeying the Lord and you stand on your knees praying and you're asking uh, for things in the Lord. He's our Father. He will take care of us. Whatever we ask for, we just need to have faith because it's harvest time, my friends. It's harvest time. All you need to do is have faith. For the Hebrew 11 and 1 say, For faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, we be back in a few minutes with the message after these messages. All right, we are back, and we only got a short time, and we're just going to discuss... I believe uh, Romans 9, and we want to get in a little need of it, <laughs> if that makes sense. And here, Paul, if you have your Bibles out, turn with me to Romans 9. And here, Paul writes, and Paul said that, for he said to Moses, and this is God talking to Moses now, and God said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion or pity on. In other words, what God was telling Moses, Moses, I am in control here. You can't tell me how to love. You can't tell me who to have mercy on. You can't tell me how to or uh, who to have pity on. Now, I think some of us in the world today, we, I believe, we, 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 we believe that, some of us believe that we can tell God what to do. Uh, especially when we are going through some things. I hear people say, why God? Why you allow this to happen? Why you allow that to happen? I'm here to tell you on this afternoon, my friends, well, we must recognize that God is totally in control. And we that are his children, we need to allow, allow him to have control over us. The problem we having that most of us, we don't want to obey God. We want to obey God our way instead of God's way. But I'm here to remind you, my friends, that God, not you, not me, not mommy, not daddy, God is in control of it all. Now, now, if God wanted to destroy this whole entire planet, there's nothing you and I can do about it. The only thing we need to do today, my friends, is to recognize his power and his will. And in verse and in verse 16, the Bible says, So then it is not of him that willeth, not of him that runneth, but God that shows mercy. It's not us, but it's God that shows us mercy every day when he allow us to wake up in the morning. And he said, For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up that I may show my power in thee, that my name might be, be declared through all the earth. You know, sometimes our Lord calls things to happen to send us a message. But sometimes we miss the whole message because we still ask ourselves the question, why this is happening? Uh, why God, what is God's will allow it to happen? Just like what's going on now. It could be the possibility, and don't get upset with Brother Austin, because he says this, that God allowed uh, Trump, Donald Trump, to be the president at this time. Maybe God allow him to uh, to not do anything when it comes to the COVID virus, 19 virus, so that he can give us a message. And sometimes, if not all the time, we miss God's message because of what? Because of what, my, my audience? Because we look at us 
instead of at God. We look at us instead of God. And my friends, we need to start looking at God and see His will through all the things that God allowed us to go through. Most of us, yes, we lost loved ones in this pandemic. Yes, some of us, we are sick with it. But my friends, get God's message. A lot of us are missing that message every day. The message is there. It's in God's word. All you need to do is, he, is read it. It's in God's word. All you need to do is listen to a program like this one. It's in God's word, the message. And what he wants us to do through the tribulations that he allowed us to go through, he wants us to see his will. His will. Not my will. Not your will. But his will for us. Like I said, we miss it every time because we don't look at faith. We look at the things that we can see. And sometimes, my friends, if you don't have faith, you will miss God's message. All right, we're going to end it there. We, we went over our time. We're going to end it there. But catch us tomorrow. Tomorrow's our musical music time once again, where we'll be playing several of your a cappella hits, and they're hits because you heard it here on Chatting from the Word. Again, we're so delighted to spend this hour with you and to play these beautiful songs and to worship the Lord with you. And we hope that you listen in again. If this your first time been your first time listening, listen in again. So, and share the show with your friends. But listen again so that you can be also uplifted in the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. We pray with me, please. Our Father, which art in heaven, allow be thy name. Thy kingdom has come, thy will is being done on earth as it is in heaven. And Father, we thank you for this time that you gave all of us. Father, thank you for this time that we worship together and hear a beautiful song and to hear a lesson, Father. We pray, Father, for all of our listeners at this time, Father. We ask that you guide them, help them to have a beautiful, beautiful uh, rest of the day. Help them have a beautiful, beautiful night. Help them always depend on you and look up to you from whence cometh all of our help. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest through and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, it was nice chatting with you today from Chatting from the Word. Bye-bye. And we see you all tomorrow at 2. Bye-bye. Wait.